Philippians 3.13, we must forget what lies behind and strain forward to what lies ahead. We must focus now on what's essential to obtain our true calling. Our education has taught us discipline and given us the skills necessary to help us contribute to society. It is now up to you to take the knowledge you have gained and transcend mediocrity in the world. I love the excitement of the graduates. I love the jewelry. I love the native dress, Simone. I love the shoes, Kristen. I love the cap decorations, Ashley. I like the Red Sky drummers. I like the band playing Pond and Circumstance. I like the choir singing the national anthem. And I love you guys. This is the one high school event that is packed with an enthusiastic crowd and vocal crowd. You guys should be at everything. Can you imagine them at a choir concert? It would rock. These are the words that I have heard that are used to describe my generation. Narcissistic, lazy, coddled, just to name a few. I watched as each and every one of us internalized these comments, and I watched as each and every one of us defied this description of who we supposedly were. When I look at the students in front of me, and the students next in line to be here, I am proud to say they are the core of MCHS. I see a student body who is enthusiastic about their education, about sports, about music, about drama, about their culture, and about each other. I've seen our school thrive in each of these areas and also grow from the failure in each of these areas. My class is diverse, accepting, hardworking, and strong in the face of adversity. Class of 2016, Take into your future all the strength and positivity you have instilled in MCHS. As Ecclesiastes 11, 9 says, Rejoice, O young man, in your youth, and let your heart cheer you in the days of your life.